Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato. We are continuing in the campaign of Prison Architect. And uh, yeah, we're going to be playing Bootstraps. A historic prison is scheduled for demolition and replacement. Use all the skills you've learned to create the ultimate facility. Don't mind if I do. We had a little sneak peek at the end of the last episode, but uh, we will be watching the full cutscenes right now. Today on CNDC News, a special report into the state of our prisons. It's two years since the infamous siege at Alcamo claimed so many lives, including that chief executive, including including that of chief, Ex chief executive Charles Wallace. Today we hear from leading experts and ask what, if anything, has changed since those tragic events. First, we go live to one of the state's longest-running prisons, recently scheduled for demolition. Live now, only on CNDC News. I love the music as well. It's great. It's really nice. This looks like the type of shit that I would build. Also, isn't this our first prison that we were at? Isn't this our training one? Thanks, Sarah. This prison has housed some of the country's most notorious criminals, but now its walls are being torn down, ready to be replaced by a new prison complex. Oh, nice. Oh, it's the mayor. It's the mayor. It's the mayor. If you look behind me, you can you can see that the construction crews are already here and demolition work has begun. Joining me is Mayor Calvin Heller. Thank you, Mr. Heller, for taking the time to talk to us today. It's my pleasure. I'm not doing voices, by the way, because I absolutely burned myself out in the last episode doing voices and my throat is literally killing me. In the past, you've been a strong advocate of a tougher, more disciplined approach to prison management. Why demolish a facility which has defined for so long the punitive approach? Both the prison and its operation has had become antiquated. We took the decision to replace it with an entirely new facility, one with a more modern policy. This prison was in the news a few years ago as one of the last remaining state execution facilities. I know. I built it, actually. Campaigners have long sought to revoke the death penalty laws here. Will you honor their wishes or will you rebuild the execution facility? That's still under review, but it's not a decision we'll take lightly. Probably one that I'll be taking, actually. Thank you, Mayor Heller. Back to you in the studio. This is CNDC News, reporting live on the state of our prison system. After the break, we'll be joined by Dr. Walter Hurst, a specialist in prisoner psychology and rehabilitation. Wow, he's even older and probably even crummier. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, he's calling us. Look, he's got his little phone out. Let me congratulate you on your appointment as CEO. This is an opportunity, a fresh start. You'll have complete autonomy, more or less, more prisoners, higher reoffending rates. You have a lot of challenges ahead of you. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you mentioning that. As for the death row facility, tear it down or keep it. Or make some use out of it. It really is up to you. Somebody else will take up that business if you won't. As for objectives, I'm giving you the same as I gave to your predecessor. Profits, reoffending rates, capacity. It's entirely up to you how you achieve them. One last thing. The previous CEO, Charles Wallace, left behind a letter that he used to give out to any new prison architects who joined the firm. He had some good advice. You may find it useful to take a look. Oh, okay. That's cool. Good luck. That's great. That is great. Um. All right. Read the CEO's letter. I guess that's where uh, I I I guess that's where you get the the CEO letter from. So to achieve this mission, I suppose a bank balance of at least sixty thousand, at least one hundred inmates, raise money through the grant system. Okay, I guess we will get right to work then. Um, grants, uh, basic detention center. Whatever, I guess, probably. Yeah, let's do something like that. Stick it in three times speed because, in all honesty, this is stuff that we've seen before. So, I'm going to try and zip through this as quickly as physically possible. So that we can, uh, so that we can progress and see if there is any of the campaign left. I mean, I, I hope there is because campaign is great the campaign seems like it's pretty pretty cool and hopefully we can uh, we can see more story administration center that's something i also want to take advantage of let's get the admin center set up up here 
I always seem to go for the admin center up at the top because I like it up at the top. It's, it's kind of cool. All right, so basic detention, a basic detention center. All right, let's get some walls set up. We need a shower room. Okay, that's fine. Shower, we can have a yard right here. That can be the yard. Uh, a kitchen and a canteen. Kitchen and the canteen can be the biggest part. This can be the kitchen in there, and this can be the canteen right over here. Yeah, something like this. It's going to be quite a fancy looking canteen. You know, if we're if we're going to be this whole modern architect thing, then darn right I can be uh, I can be down with that. All right, no, 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 no. That's not. That's literally not where I wanted the canteen to be. That's where I wanted the canteen to be. Did we not place another? little extra corner. There we go. Finally. Good, good, good. Alright. A kitchen. Uh, a, sh a yard. Which doesn't have to be inside. People keep on telling me that. Keep on telling me that. Kept on telling me that last time I did this. Or uh, a couple of times ago when I did this. And they were saying, Oh, potato, why the hell are you building the yard outside? You might as well build it inside. And so I thought, pretty good idea. Pretty decent idea indeed. Let's get some sinks down. All of the necessary stuff that we actually need in a kitchen. And a cooker. And also a bin for good measure, I guess. And then in the canteen, we get some serving table. Well, we get one serving table, and then we get some tables and chairs. There we go. There and there. Perfect. Bench, 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 bench. All right, beautiful. That should fill most of the objectives. Obviously, shower heads... Still something that I didn't even consider, but uh, we do actually need. And the yard is fine. Yeah, great. And then, of course, we need the holding cell. So let's just make, let's, you know, let's be radical about this. Let's say that this entire area is the holding cell. How crazy is that? I think that's pretty crazy, actually. Uh, surrounded by walls and doors. Uh, okay, I suppose that means we're going to have to have doors there, but that should be fine. And then we need, of course, a bench, toilets, a bench, some toilets. Can we actually put some beds in here? I mean, if this is going to be a large-scale holding cell, then we might need more than just some benches and a toilet. So, you know what? I'm down with this whole new radical prison architect idea. Also, toilets in a row. Prisoners can poop together. I think that's going to be kind of nice, actually. Also, we need a generator. Oh, fuck you. I always forget about that when we're starting up our own uh, our own prison. All right. There we go. Let's get some capacitors down. Let's get a water pumping station. And let's get some electrical cable to link the two. And let's get some pipe that comes from here, down here, across there, and then around the showers. Great. Everybody's freaking happy. Everybody's freaking happy. Good. Fine. Happy days. This should be our basic detention center. And it will be. One, two. One, two. Perfect. Got our basic de basic detention center. Sean Connery. Uh, we got our, our basic detention center grant. Okay. Um, We need to do the admin block. Which we are going to do in super quick time as well. Because why the hell not? Also, this should probably not be outside. That should probably be inside. I'm going to wager that it probably should be inside. Yeah. All right, let's get some offices down. We do not need them to be overly large, but still, they need to be at least 4x4 four four, as far as I'm concerned. As far as everybody concerned, actually. That's the, you know, that's what the game says. Damn right what the game says. All right. Walls as well would be not too shabby. Thank you very much for some beautiful walls on this fine day. All right. Okay. Uh, we don't really need doors. Nobody really needs doors these days. Uh, office desk, office chair, filing cabinet. Well, it's not an office chair. It's just a normal chair, but whatever. You get the picture. Uh, and a desk. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 and a filing cabinet to go in the corner. 
Perfect. That should be our admin block complete. Staff, let's get a warden. Unlock finance through bureaucracy. Finance through bureaucracy. Office required. Yep, working on it. And hiring an accountant. That is something that we are going to be doing as soon as possible. Great. Awesome. We're on top of things. We're on top of things fairly, fairly well. What else can we do? Um, we need to go for cell block A. What do we need for cell block A? We need to unlock finance before we can get cell block A. Really, the only requirement to completing this, uh, this prison of our dreams or whatever, I think is going to be money, right? It's going to be money and it's going to be... You know what? I, you know what? What we do is the, the quickest way to get money, as far as I'm concerned, money to build the... Oh, we can hire an accountant right now. Great. Uh, yeah, the quickest way, as far as I'm concerned, that we can get to 60 grand, or that we can get to... Uh, that, we can, that we can get all of the stuff done, as in get 100 prisoners and get at least 60 grand. I think we sort of we sort of be a little bit sneaky. Let's go for some short-term investment. All right, that's 71 hours. That's not too long, and we're going to get 11 grand. Let's also go for cell block A. Right, now cell block A is uh, tasking us to get our prison capaci prisoner capacity up to 15. Now, I've actually got quite a strict uh, a strict plan that I I'd, uh, I plan to adhere to. All right, let's do it. Let, let me show you what I'm, what I'm sort of thinking. So we've got something like this. We've got something like this. We can have an entrance in here, an entrance in here, an entrance in here, whatever. Something like that. Uh, and then here, if we extend this outwards, that's not how I wanted to extend it outwards, but I think you're starting to get the picture right now. Let's get that coming down here. Something like this, okay? So basically what this means is that as we get access to more and more money, we can just build more and more layers. Now... This might not be immediately clear as to what the hell I actually want to do. But, fingers crossed, in about 10 seconds or so, you'll actually see exactly what I mean. If we could get something like this. If we could get it doubly as thick. So, something like this. We're going to have to get rid of this storage lot. I don't really give a damn. That's easy. Right, so we have an entrance over there, and we have an entrance over here. Now, what I mean by the fact is that this is scalable, and I don't think I've said that, but it is scalable. That's exactly why I'm, you know, planning something like this. So, basically, we will just build it in chunks, right? So we'll build this bit first. This is, this is going to be the first block, so to speak, of area. And as we go on, we can just build another block, and another one, and another one. And another one, right? And that should really, really work. Fingers crossed, anyway. Fingers crossed. And it should also mean that uh, as our money increases, so can uh, so can the number of prisoners that we have. Let's get clone. Uh, we also we need to require uh, we require a foreman. Let me get on that right now. Let's get a foreman placed down. Max already hired. Fantastic. Yeah. So fingers crossed, it works. Uh, but we do want to get cloning up and up and running literally as soon as possible so that uh, we don't die a horrible painful death in all honesty though a foreman isn't going to prevent our death it's just going to mean that we can uh, store prisoners a little bit more effectively okay we'll store prisoners that's a that's a bit of a mean way of looking at it housing prisoners a little bit more effectively yeah, but we're going to make sure that we have the we give them the minimum space. I mean, that's to be expected. I mean, come on. We need to get to 100 prisoners as quickly as possible. Because I want to see the the remaining the remaining campaign, so to speak, uh, if there is any, of which there might not be any. I mean, I might just be going on a wild wild goose chase, but hopefully you guys will be going on this wild wild goose chase with me as well, so that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Okay. Who cares if the toilet is facing the wall? I mean, that's the that's the modern sort of style of being a prison architect that we want to adopt. Also, am I able to clone... How large am I able to clone stuff? Okay, so I'm able to clone fairly large blocks. 
So if I want a block of new cells, all I need to do is do that. Fingers crossed. Uh, well, whatever. I'll figure. I'll figure that whole cloning business out uh, as we go. Oh shit, that's a good idea actually. Putting some uh, some doors in there. That's that's a good point. I did that accidentally with the clone tool, but hey ho. Uh, short term investment. That's gonna come. Uh, let's build. Let's build another block. Let's build another block. Spend ten grand or so. 10 grand or so. This is going to raise our prisoner capacity by a fairly large number, if I'm honest. It should be uh, fairly big. Also, the advantage is putting like a, a little door here. It's pretty good. It means that we can separate it into blocks. So, if there happens to be a crazy, crazy riot that overruns the prison, then, you know, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It would absolutely not be the end of the world. Did I just cancel that building? I think I just canceled that building of something. Uh, whatever the case. Uh, let's get that down there, and that should fit in it just perfectly. That down there, that down there, and we can actually just use this template up here again, I think. Hopefully this won't mess up that. Is that where we want to place it? No, that's where we want to place it. Perfect. All right, great. We did it. We didn't mess it up. We didn't mess it up. This is good news for everybody. Didn't mess it up again. Didn't mess it up again. Okay, so we spent a lot of money on that. And I can honestly say that I don't even care. Because it's totally worth it and we need to do it eventually. So, hey-ho. Also, doors. Doors are a thing that we just have not placed. Now, I presume a few observant people... Oh my god, no, that's not going to work as well as I expected. I presume a few observant people would have spotted that I wasn't actually placing doors. And uh, that was totally intentional, actually. That was to no, it wasn't. It was, it was, it was a mistake. I forgot. I forgot. I'm sorry. Don't punish me. Nah, it's gonna be fine. It's okay. It's only gonna take a little bit of clicking, which is annoying to say the least. But it's not the end of the world, is it? A little bit of clicking. I mean, that's the whole point of prison architect, really, isn't it? Clicking. Holy crap. Thank you for that little 20 grand injection. That was just the right time. Holy cow. Whew, wow. We're we're running a little bit uh, a little bit close to the line in terms of uh, money, but it's okay. We've already we've already got up to 40 prisoners or whatever, so that's not bad. Perhaps we don't even we don't even provide water to these prisoners if we're going to be going at like 100 miles an hour. Perhaps that's not the right way to go about doing it. Um, I think a technology that's probably worth investing in is the triple triple grant because then we can take a large grant that uh, we don't actually need to complete. And uh, what I mean by that is the fact that... Uh, let's place down that there. Get rid of that there. Um, yeah, there's, there's no canteens that are accessible to this prison. I don't care. Um... What I mean by this is, if we take grants that will give us a lot of money, so 15 grand advance payment, 5 grand, 10 grand through advance repayment. You know what? Let's take prison maintenance because that's easy to complete. Let's also take the reform through education. Well, no, let's not take the reform through education initiative because there's no point. Uh, we will take cell block B because we've automatically completed it and that is lovely uh, and cell block C is also something that we're going to take right so now we've got three grants we're also a little bit above that uh, that 60,000 threshold not to mention the fact that we've got short-term investment coming in very very soon indeed we just need to unlock cleaning and groundskeeping and hire some janitors and stuff cleaning groundskeeping uh, that should be fairly, fairly easy. Only going to take a little bit of money. Okay, with the money that we got from cell block C, let's take this opportunity to expand that way by another 10 grand or so. That should mean that we will have enough space to expand this area for 100 prisoners. And fingers crossed, that works. However, I think we're probably going to call an episode there, ladies and gentlemen. 
come back in the next episode to see probably the finale of Prison Architect on the channel for a while. Probably after the end of this campaign, we're not going to be playing it for uh, for much longer, so be sure to check it out. We're going to do some, uh, some crazy more tricks to make sure that we get up to 100 inmates in as short a time as possible. So you're definitely not going to want to miss that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. Tune in next time for some more Prison Architect. Until then, bye.